in the following questions the symbols you know all the symbols eta <coughs> whatever these are called here <coughs> let me call it <coughs> in simple language as sorry about this inconvenience guys <coughs> okay look at this in the following questions the symbols you know uh, circle with vertical cut circle with horizontal cut triangle and that space is missing actually i mean space meaning the space right here is the space and at the rate have the following meanings now look at this j what is this called i've forgotten what is this called let's say j eta k means j is not smaller than k so what does it mean try to understand the meaning of the symbol the symbol means see j is not smaller than k if j is not smaller it will be greater or equal yes or no if j is not smaller not smaller means it can be greater or it can be equal then j let's say theta j theta k means j is neither greater nor smaller if it is neither greater nor smaller it means it is equal so theta equals to equal you're able to follow so let me not confuse you T, this means greater than or equal to theta means equal right because it is neither greater nor smaller so it is equal okay next j delta k means j is not greater than k so delta means what see delta means not greater if it is not greater it can be lesser or equal so less than or equal the next one j space k means j is neither smaller nor equal so this means what space means what neither smaller nor equal so greater <coughs> And j at the rate k, at the rate k means j is neither greater nor equal. Neither greater nor equal means smaller. So at the rate means smaller. So first and foremost, you have to find out the uh, meaning of each of these symbols, right? You have to find out the meaning of each of these symbols. So just remember this: that the first symbol means greater than or equal, <coughs> equal, less than or equal, greater and less. Now. You know this options and all, right? Only conclusion one is true, conclusion two is true, and so on. Look at the statements. Write down the, I mean, replace the symbols with the proper inequality there. So what do we get from this? X is greater than or equal to Y. We know that Y is <coughs> Y is equal to P, and Y is greater than or equal to J. Similarly, replace these conclusions here. The first conclusion says X. Greater than j. The second one says p less than or equal to x. Now <coughs> look at this. First conclusion: x greater than j. See, if you connect the first and the third statement here, we know that x is greater than or equal to y, and y is greater than or equal to j. Right. So what do we get from this one? X greater than or equal to y, and y is greater than or equal to j. So answer should be what? X greater than or equal to j. Right, x is greater than or equal to j. But what is given here? Only x greater than j is given. So the first conclusion is wrong, right? Because x is not greater. X is greater or equal. Look at the second conclusion. P less than or equal to s. See, we know that y is less than or equal to x. From the first statement, we know that y is less than or equal to x. Y less than or equal to x. And p is equal to y. So if p is equal to y, y can be replaced with p, right? Y can be replaced with p here. So y less than or equal to x means what? P is less than or equal to x. So second conclusion, p less than or equal to x is true. So your answer should be only conclusion two is true. Option two. All right. <coughs> I mean, very easy. Quoted inequalities, in my view, is the easiest uh, topic that you can get in reasoning. Right? One of the easiest topics. You just remember have to remember those three rules that we have discussed in the videos. Okay. So let me just learn the symbols by heart because I am now going to clear the screen and all this will be lost. I don't want to repeat it again. So greater than or equal, equal, less than or equal, greater, less. <coughs> okay, <coughs> let's go to the next one. So you know the meanings, right? This is greater than or equal, equal, less than or equal, greater and less. Now first one, C space D means C is greater than D. If you want to get directly connect now, right? So D uh, theta M means D is equal to M, and M at the rate means what? Less than Q. What are the conclusions? The first one, first conclusion is d delta q. Delta is what less than or equal to q. So d less than or equal to q. Second conclusion is what c at the rate m. So c is less than m. Now look at the first one. Delta less than or equal to sorry, d less than or equal to q. You know that d is equal to m, and m is less than q. If m is less than q, d also is less than q. But what is given here? Less than or equal. So first one is wrong. Second conclusion, c less than m. From this clearly, c is greater than d and d is equal to m. So you can interchange these two. 
So what do we get? C greater than M. C is greater than M. But what is given here? C less than M. So even second conclusion is wrong. So your answer should be neither conclusion 1 nor conclusion 2 is true. Alright. And look at the next one. Here's the next one. <coughs> so statements here. P at the rate L. So P less than L. L at the rate B less than B. And B delta R. B delta R means what? Less than or equal to R. First conclusion. R space L means R uh, greater than L. First conclusion. And second conclusion is what? B space P. So B greater than p right now look at this is r less than l yes very clearly from the statement when you compare r with l what do you see r greater than or equal to b b greater than l so the common inequality between these two is what greater so r greater than l so first one is correct second one b greater than p again when you compare b with p what do you see b is greater than l l is greater than p so b greater than l l greater than p means what b greater than p second one also is true so your answer for this one should be option 5. Both conclusion 1 and 2 are true. So quoted inequalities is simple. Nothing complex about it. The only thing which some of you misunderstood here is that this is a missing symbol. It's not a missing symbol. It was space. And same space was given in the conclusions as well. Alright.